In question number three, I have to shade the area that's both within five meters of B. So for that's for me that's five grid squares of B. So that's good. That's clearly within one grid square. That's not good. Um, that's good. That's not good. That's good. That's not good. It's okay to do these concretely. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. These are all fine. Clearly within five. Um, meters because they're within two and a half millimeters. So that these are all fine. And you do them enough, kind of get the idea that it'll be a circle. Once you've decided that it'll be a little quarter circle, you do it properly with a compass. So it starts at there. So that's the boundary line between what's within 5 of B and what's not. Um, but it also has to be within 9 metres of D. Okay, so that'll be the same thing. This is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9. So therefore the shaded area is this. They're the ones that are both within 5 metres of B and also 9 metres of B. OK, what about question 4? Shade the region that is within 3 metres of AB. Well, 3 metres is 3 grid squares, so that's within... These are all fine. These are not fine. So all the dots are fine. The crosses are not fine. The boundary line between fine and not fine is this line here, which we'll do with a straight edge. And one way of doing that properly is to measure 6 down this, because I know that's perpendicular, and then perpendicularly bisect that. What I'm saying is that I drew that line using the grid squares, which is a bit sloppy. So this is me doing a genuine perpendicular bisector. if you connect that to that, you get that line there. So points that are within three meters of AB are these ones. Question 5. Shade the region of points that are further than 1 metre from the boundary. Or well, again, 1 metre is 1 grid square, so that's further than 1 metre, that's further than 1 metre. That's not, that's not further than 1 metre. So, cross, 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 tick, 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 tick. What about this one? That is not further because that's 1 whether you go up there or 1 where you go there. So eventually you get the um, idea that that's what's going on there. So come out perpendicularly here, mark that there. Doing a perpendicular bisector here. And then connect them. 
Anyway, you continue doing that. Here I am using the grid squares. You can always use a set square to get these measurements right. You don't have to use a perpendicular bisector all the time. And so, further than one metre from the boundary is all these. Question six, shade the region of points that are closer to A than D. So this is closer to A than D, this is not, this is closer to A, this is not. Boundary line will be there. Again, you can use a perpendicular bisector for that. Closer to D than C. So that's closer to D than C, that's not. Again, the boundary line will be what's halfway between those. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's five and a half. So the ones that are closer to A than D, and also closer to D than C, are these ones. I want to be super technical about it. Say closer. So you should show that these don't count. Because they're not closer, they're the same distance. Question 7. Shade the region of points that are closer to AD than DB. Where's DB there? So, which ones are closer to AD? That's closer to AD, that is, that's not, that's not, that is, that's not, that is, that's not. So I think what I need is a bisector here. So closer to AD than A than DB. These ones. And again, I've done a dotted line there because they are not. Um, these ones on the boundary there, they're not closer. They're the same distance, so I'm not counting them. That's what that dot is supposed to indicate. Okay, question number eight. Shade the regions, region of points that are within 300 centimeters of BC. What was my unit? I think it was meters. So one grid square is one meter. So that's three meters. So three grid squares of BC. So that's all these ones over here. Within doesn't mean exactly three meters, that's why I've done a dotted line here. That's all those. Or within two meters of DC. That's those. And that one doesn't count there because that's not within. Question number nine, show the region of points that are closer to AD 
than AC. So here's AC. We want these ones over here, not these ones over here. So I want another perpendicular. I want another bisector of this angle. It says closer, so I need another dotted line. Or are within five meters of BC. That's these. Checking out the my shading for all of these. I'm done my shading for number two. Closer to BC than to DC. All within five meters of A. So we want that. It says within. So I need a dotted line. Or within five meters of A. So I've done that. Close to B, C, then to D, C. So I need a dotted line for that. I think I need dotted lines for these. I need a dotted line for that as well. And that's your answer for the locust questions.